everyone. This is Abhilash Haridas bringing you another episode from the SCM Skillers channel, where we answer questions about the supply chain and supply chain jobs. Now, we try to bring you new and fresh content, especially for people who are fresh graduates, who are students uh, just about to graduate, or new employees in supply chain or employees who want to see a switch into supply chain in the near future. So if you are in any of these categories, we request you to subscribe, share and like and comment what you are really looking for and we'll bring you new and fresh content that's more and more relevant for your search in supply chain. So with that, let's proceed to today's episode. In our last video, we spoke about what supply chain is not. We spoke about some of the myths that surround supply chain and supply chain jobs. So today, we are going to take it one step further. Well, if we have spoken about what supply chain is not, it begs the question, then what is the supply chain? Well, the so supply chain is defined as a set of interconnected units, entities, processes, applications, technologies, and organizations that are working in tandem to bring value to the end customer. So it covers the, the journey from raw material stage to finished goods at the customer and even sometimes the goods have to be returned. According to the APIC score model, supply chain is divided into five different parts with a sixth part as, an, uh, as a support system. Right. So the five core are plan, which is the planning function, where you figure out what to make, how much to make, what is the demand in the market, and how to really solve that, uh, solve for that demand, you know, how to get the supply for that demand. The next part of the supply chain is source. So when you decide to kind of bring a, a solution or a product to market, you will need raw materials, you will need associated things to kind of make that material. And that has to be procured from the market. So the entire activity of sourcing and procuring comes under an umbrella called source. That's the second one. The third one is make. Well, now you have the material or the raw material for what you have to make. Now is the time when you have to actually add value to that raw material and make it into a finished good. That process is the entire make process or the manufacturing process. Once you have manufactured, the objective is not to keep it stocked in your warehouse. It is to bring it to the customer so that you can actually you know, serve the customer's requirement and get paid for that. The fourth part of the supply chain focuses on that. That's called deliver. As the word suggests, it simply means delivering what you wanted to kind of deliver to the end of the end customer, uh, bringing it to the customer and actually solving the customer's need. The fifth part of the supply chain is the, the most interesting out of all of it, because that in a way determines what is the efficiency and uh, you know, and the power of the, the earlier four stages. And that is called return. The return simply means in case you take a material, you deliver a material to a customer, and for whatever reason, the customer decides to return it, uh, you know, uh, just to make the point of how critical this is today. E-commerce, which is one of the biggest areas that, uh, that supply chain is very evident uh, for B2C kind of a scenario, sees close to 40 to 50% of returns, which is a massive, massive number, right? So the fifth part of the supply chain is returning material and the associated activities of returning. Now, while these are the five core elements that form the supply chain, the supply chain cannot work without having something to support it. And that support is called enable. Now, what is enable? Enable is not just one function, it is a set of different functions that help you to run a seamless supply chain. It includes IT and technology solutions, it includes transformative solutions, it includes master data management, and it includes more than anything else, the entire interconnected financial aspect that run 
underneath the supply chain the cost and the you know the decision making aspect that runs underneath the analytical aspect that runs underneath these are the five core elements of the supply chain plan source make deliver return and enable so hope that gives you a little bit more clarity of what the supply chain is and what are the different elements that form the supply chain we will come back with you for another session with a lot more information and we will build upon these topics in our subsequent videos so keep watching keep sharing your comments and we'd love to hear what you would want to know next thank you and for the time being till the next one goodbye